Well, good morning to you. I hope you enjoyed that I'll Fly Away by Ralph Stanley. And uh, one of my favorite uh, bluegrass men that I listen to. And, uh, boy, it's exciting to know that one day we're going to fly away. But you know what? Until then, friend, uh, we've got a lot to do. We've got uh, many people to see, places to go, amen. We've got folks to witness to. And, uh, boy, 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 we just got a lot of things to do when it comes to getting the gospel out. And, uh, you know, I never did any kind of live stream in my life until COVID-19 came along. And I know you don't want to hear that. Ah, I don't either. But I said it. Uh, and so I started live streaming, and um, I've certainly enjoyed it. But I think, I want to say this, I think the breath of God was taken out of our building. Now I know the church is the people, but I think God took the people out of the church so that the church, the people of God, could get the breath of God fully on them again. And if you'll spend some time with God, you'll figure that out. But anyway, I want to uh, I want to talk to you about passing it forward, uh, or and passing it forward and paying it forward is a uh, thing that uh, happened to me one day. I happened to be in the Starbucks line, and uh, uh, I got up there, and the lady said, Sir, the lady passed it back to you. She paid your uh, for your Starbucks drink. And boy, I said, Glory to God. Man, let me go through the line again and see if I get another free one. But no, uh, actually, she was passing it forward because really... Paying it forward, really, somebody probably paid it forward to her, I would guess. And so, as we look at Matthew chapter 28, we he here see Jesus in verse 18, And Jesus came and spake unto them, saying, All powers given unto the, me in heaven and earth. He says, Go ye therefore and teach all nations, baptizing them. Now listen to me. Now, don't tune me out because I read Matthew 28 because here's what you're going to do. Oh, he's going to talk about going out and reaching people, and I don't want to hear that. You know what? Sometimes I don't want to hear it either. But listen to this. We can convince ourselves that Jesus does not really want us to adjust our lives. We can convince ourselves that Jesus doesn't want us to adjust our lives, but Christ always wants us to adjust our life so that we can reach other people. Do you understand that? Matthew was a tax collector. Uh, Andrew and Peter were fishermen. Uh, there were other ones that were uh, people of trades and different groups. You all got different trades. Some of you are construction workers. Some of you are fishermen. and uh, 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 Some of you do different things. But listen to me. We all do different things because... God wants us and allows us to reach different people in our community in doing those other things. If I talk to a fisherman, I probably couldn't do a whole lot uh, talking with him. But if you're a fisherman, you could. Now, I can talk to a motorcycle guy. I can, har I can talk to a Harley head because I think I'm an Harley head. But anyway, now listen to me. When Andrew and Peter, Peter had been fishing all night, and he still hadn't caught a thing, it was the God Almighty that did a powerful work in his life, and you see the next day, he caught fish, and it was so much fish that it filled up the boats there, and man, it was a lot of fish. But wait a minute. You would say, well, that was a great miracle, and praise God, he can go on. No. Jesus had other plans for him to go on, and that was to reach men and women for the glorious gospel of Jesus Christ. Now, paying it forward or, or, or uh, passing it forward is an expression for describing uh, somebody that's benefited to somebody else's deeds. Now, listen. I have benefited from a mama and a brother and people that prayed. When I was a lost man, they prayed that I would get saved. And you know what? If they hadn't prayed that I got saved, listen to me, I would have never been able to, they would have never been able to pay it forward. Now, you understand that? 
they, God paid their prayer forward by seeing me come to know Jesus Christ as his personal Savior. So we pay it forward by praying. I'm praying for my neighbors. I've got several neighbors. I've been watching them while I've been home. I've been watching them, and I've been trying to figure out, now how am I going to try to reach this guy? And how am I going to try this? Well, number one, I've got to pay it forward by praying. I've got to pray that the Spirit of God will do a big work in my life, and not only in my life, but my neighbor's life, so that I can give them the gospel. You take, uh, you take uh, Philip. If Philip, Philip was successful there in Acts of uh, going out and giving the gospel and, uh, and seeing people saved and lives changed, but wait a minute. Jesus, he was told to go to the desert isle. Now, if he would have said, well, I'm just not going to be like that. I'm not going to reach those people. I don't care about my neighbors. They can die and go to hell for all I care. Well, you know what? You think that, but one day you'll see your neighbors in your face before God Almighty. Now, listen to me. Uh, if Philip hadn't have gone to the desert, he would have never run into the Ethiopian unit. Trust me, he would have never... He would have never. And because he did that, guess what? That person got saved. Now listen to me. And so we got to pray it forward or pay it forward by prayer. By prayer. we got to pray it forward or pay it forward by prayer. You and I have got to get onto our knees and begin to pray that God does something different in this world. If we go back, listen to me now, if we go back to the normal of living our lives, going over to Disney World, all this stuff, listen to me, we're going to miss the opportunity of seeing people saved. And I believe with all that. I know it's morning and I'm yelling and screaming at you. And I know some of you probably cut me off already, but you know what? Listen to me, I beg you, pray for people to be saved in your corner of the world. And not only that, but... Uh, pay it forward and surrender. Listen to me. You've got to pay it forward and surrender. Some of you out there in video land need to surrender your life to God. There's some of you, I believe, in our youth department that God has called you to preach, but you're going to waste your time and waste your life uh, doing something else, and God's not going to get the glory. Oh, He may get the glory in, in some ways in giving your life, but let me tell you something. He'll get a bigger glory by what... Think of uh, a Billy Graham. If And I know some of you done cut me off because I said Billy Graham, but if Billy Graham hadn't listened and started giving the gospel in Europe and Asia and all these places, think of the countless thousands and thousands and millions of people that had died and went to hell. You know why? Because he paid it forward by surrender. We have got to surrender our lives again. This morning, you're at home listening to this, or you're somewhere in your car, or you're out at a park having lunch with your wife. You ought to bow your knee, you and your wife, or you and your uh, whoever it is, bow your knee and say, God, I need to surrender right now to your will. To your will. And so you need to pr pay it forward by surrender. Number one, prayer by surrender. Surrender is important. Think about it. If you would surrender your life, somebody watching you will surrender because they will see the difference in your life by your life being surrendered to God Almighty. Oh, listen to me. I am glad that I had a mama that prayed and a brother and daddy that prayed that their son would get saved. And you know what? They prayed and prayed, and they paid it forward by their prayer. Listen to me. We're going to miss the boat on seeing people uh, saved if we don't pay it forward in prayer, if we don't pay it forward in surrender. Listen to me. Jesus said go. Don't make excuses not to go and talk to me. Well, it's COVID-19, so i got to cover my face. Well, you, you can speak over your covering, amen, and, and talk to people and be nice. The other day, I was at the doctor's office, and I always try to be aware of people around me, and there was a guy coming through the parking lot, and he was, on a, he was in a wheelchair, and he's rolling. And I looked at him, and I could tell he was getting tired. So I went to him. He was a veteran, and I went, Sir, I, 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 do you need me to push the, uh, uh, your wheelchair into the doctor's office? I'd be glad. I was at Gateway. I, I, I'd be glad to help you. And he looked at me, and he said, I sure would. And so I pushed him along. You know what? The Holy Spirit had spoke to me about helping this man. 
what was I doing? Hey, I'm paying it forward. One day I'm going to be old and in a wheelchair, and I hope somebody will push me into the doctor's office. Amen. But I paid it forward. Listen to me. There's got to be surrender. We've got to get to back to the Holy Ghost speaking to your heart and my heart and all the people that are listening and saying, God, what would you have me to do today? Where's that person? Where's that divine appointment today? Maybe it's at the score store with a with an old lady that 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 can't hardly get along and can't hardly walk and maybe you know what? Forget about COVID and help her out to the car. But you got to pay it forward, and then you've got to pay it forward by surrender. But you got to pay it forward by giving yourself totally to God. I was watching uh, Brother Ralph Sexton there from Knoxville, and he told the story about Donald uh, getting the Bible from the revivals. And you can watch that video on YouTube. But you know what? I think that I think that Grandma paid for, paid it forward. I think those people paid it forward. You see, if we're, the question was asked to the preacher, are you totally right with God? I think what happened there was that those people got right and got everything paid forward and all of a sudden God began to work so that we could have somebody in the White House that has some kind of semblance to the gospel of Jesus Christ and kind of knows Jesus. Listen to me, we've got to pay it forward. And so pray it down. Surrender to obedience. And you know what? God will do a big work in our life. If you follow and look at the story of, of the, the, the disciples, and uh, you know, Simon Peter was a guy I liked because he just said, he just mouthed off. I'm a mouth off sometimes. Ask my wife. I can say the be to the best of them. But you know what? I bet Simon reached a lot of fishermen. I bet Simon reached that little bit outcast that was kind of a loud mouth. He sat up on the roof and said things. And, and uh, you know, I, I, I bet he did. You know why? Because there's obedience there. Today, as we close, why don't we begin to think, God, how can I pay it forward? Maybe going through a line, you pay it forward and give the guy a track. Maybe going through somewhere, paying it forward in prayer and surrender. And praying it forward in obedience to God's commands and God's ways. God tells us to go. Now will you go? Will you pray? Begin to pray for your neighbors. I'm already praying for my neighbors. And you know what? I know I've said that before in my life. But you know what? I've never prayed and been obedient as I am today about my neighbors. I love you. I appreciate you. I care for you. I'm praying for you. Hey, I can't wait to get back to do all of it. So I love you. I'll see you. Here we go. Let's sing it together. I'll fly away. Yes, sir. Fly away, oh, glory. There you go.